What's up? All right. What is going on, everybody? Okay. Had a pretty decent weekend in sales. Uh, also, decent ish win, uh, weekend in sourcing. Uh, did get everything listed from the thrift store uh, I went live at the other day. I'm going to just show some of the highlights. That place is crazy. I am 100% going back. All right. Let's take a look at some of this stuff. What's up, puddings? BB, what's up? We got seven people out there. I know uh, Pittsburgh Picker is live, and uh, I'm sure as when they wrap up, people will probably roll over here. But, uh, Oops, I totally just shared the wrong thing. That's my little stickers that I do on my postcard shipping. All right. So this is all stuff I picked up at that thrift shop. Not everything, but this is, uh, I could not believe still the two Weird Al records that I picked up. Uh, also the... It's waiting for payment, and it looks like it's going overseas. Here's the record that I found for free, the Wu-Tang Clan. Uh, this is actually a bootleg version. I didn't know that at the time. I decided to list it anyways, although that is risky. Look, you can see me in the uh, reflection of the record there. It was pretty good uh, condition. I priced it pretty low below market because I wanted it to sell quickly. Um, because I don't want to get it flagged or removed. So somebody did buy it. They haven't paid yet. It sold for 47 bucks, free to 47. I will take that any day. Here's the uh, Chicago case company case. Really good condition, super clean. Just a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol and water, soft cloth, the shift knob. Uh, I knew this was going to be good, but I didn't know how good. Uh, solds on it are in about the $90 range and I just copied a listing, put it up $5 less, 85 bucks. Uh, I spent $77 at the thrift store all day. This thing I thought was a juicer. It is not a juicer. It is for spetzel and, uh, like potato ricing. So you make, can use it for basically like making little spitzel, like, I don't know, spindle things. 35 bucks on that. Nightmare Before Christmas shot glasses, 16 bucks on that. Telegraph. I knew this was good because I just, I've listed tons of telegraphs before. Uh, There's a bunch of recent solds on this. So 65 bucks, I went just a little bit higher than, than average uh the fucking freaky ass doll <laughs> i could not find anything with the white eyes so i kind of just put it up there as albino possessed haunted it wasn't the best condition so uh it was only i think two bucks for that the home medics handheld uh massager with heat works great uh, you can see it working great right there. Look at that. 35 bucks on that bad boy. The other Weird Al. So $30 for that Weird Al. $32 for that one. That was just crazy. So yeah, I'll be back to that place. Uh, yes. Uh, I do, I remember that one. Um, that is, it's, uh, Mocha Lumni, California. If you go to, give me a second here and I'll, I can actually give you a little bit of, I can show you on my 
worth point if you give me a minute. I have to go get my password for it because it just changed. So give me a second here. You still have that thing? Give me just a second here. Let me get in. That's weird. It's not on what not for some or not on uh, worth point for some reason. Maybe I'm spelling it wrong. Go check Terra Peak. Okay, now that is just really weird. Because I know I've sold several, and they're not in Terra Peak. They're not in Worth Point. Uh... Give me just another second here. Maybe I'm not remembering correct. Now I still have a couple, so I should be able to find it okay. Current price. Ah, I'm spelling it wrong in my search. Here's the name of the city in California. It's M-O-K-E-L-U-M-N-E -E Hill. And let me see if I can find the other one that I had of that couple. Here it is. She was a prospector. Here's the link if you have the worth point. 
No idea what tribe. But that should be the lady. I'm pretty sure that's that's correct. Her name is Manuela. News not well. Okay. So anyways, there's that. I need to ship some stuff because otherwise I'm going to be fucked tomorrow. Sorry for the naughty words, but I swear. What, uh, what else what do you want from me? All right. So this just sold. This is a plaque for the Puget Sound Naval Shipyard. Solid brass. This was actually on a plaque for somebody's retirement from the 1960s that I got at an estate sale a long time ago. And it sat actually in my bathroom <laughs> for close to three years. And then I'm like, why do I have this in my bathroom? And why haven't I listed this? And I'm like, well, it's it's got this guy's name on it. It's kind of weird. So I actually pulled this off the rest of the plaque and just got this big ass solid brass medallion thing and uh that's how i listed it and that was let's see when did i list it it wasn't that long ago uh march 2023 okay so about a month ago uh 71.95 where's it going coronado california Read padded envelope. Sweet. Easy, easy peasy. Uh, not doing any postcards tonight. I'm going to try to get through as much of the non postcard stuff since that's what takes longer to ship. Uh, yesterday was pretty awesome day in sales. Friday was pretty good. Today was sluggish at the beginning, but it feels like it's picking up a little bit. If that, uh, it'll be great if that uh, the two unpaid orders pay today. But even if they pay tomorrow, that'd be a good start to tomorrow. Fourteen of you. Uh, hopefully, I didn't steal all of you from Pittsburgh Picker. Really eclectic bunch of stuff going out today, but I think that's also reflected by what I've been listing, which has been my number of listings going up every day is down but definitely my like my average listing value is up quite a bit this i think i don't remember where i got this if it came from the antique shop or the free thing but it's a uh, polaroid uh sun 660 autofocus uh, sold for 40 bucks in about four hours. Uh, I do keep um, a thing of Polaroid film uh, just to, for testing. Um, it's, it's, you can find it. It's not cheap, but 
one thing of film you can test 20 cameras and 40 bucks check that out one of the first uh versions of this show features me breaking one of these <laughs> really badly <laughs> if tommy's here he might remember that uh, oh yeah the no this is unrelated no 211 all right, it's going parcel select. Where's it going? Massachusetts. Two pounds to mass is. I don't think it's worth it to ship priority. It is not worth it to ship priority. I have so much stuff, right? Good stuff right now to list. It's really nice to. Uh, to be in that position and my like buy cost is been very very low not spending a lot and having a lot of stuff to to sell is a nice place to be in and one i feel like i haven't been in for, for quite some time january february really felt like scraping the bottom of the barrel of my back stock all right well uh, da, 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 da. Oh, that ain't gonna work. I swear I had another box for this. Hell. What the hell? All right, we're gonna skip it for now. Instead of this, we'll ship this. This is pretty cool. This is a block calendar, perpetual calendar, desktop perpetual calendar. These, uh, this came out of the antique store, which I was going to try to get that scheduled today, but their plans changed and I didn't make it back over. Uh, just listed this yesterday, sold today for 15 bucks. Pretty nice. It's all wrapped up just so it doesn't go nowhere. And that is going to go. Why should they pay? Oh, they played. I'm just going to go padded flat rate again, I think. Los Angeles, California. Yeah, padded flat rate it is. I also like uh, listing a good variety of stuff again, too. I, I've been very, I was very postcard heavy last year. And I like postcards. They're easy to list and, of course, easy to ship. There's a lot, to, a lot that's nice about it. But the, the number I have to sell to basically make up for what I want to make is a lot. So I'm going to still work on continuing to grow that, but I probably will be do, looking to do much more of a mix moving forward. I do have a buy coming up this next weekend that's been a long time in the making and I've been looking forward to 
from my uh, eccentric millionaire friend. All right. What else we got? Next, we got a shirt from the buyout. Not terribly exciting. What kind of shirt is this? Old Navy XXL stretched heel to striped top shirt. Six bucks. Slowly but surely getting this stuff out of there. Sixteen people out there, thank you for coming in for this very rare Twilight edition of uh, of the Ship Show. We'll be back here tomorrow morning, eight thirty Pacific, but probably more like eight Pacific. Keep on going and do it all again. I need that. All right. These things are little DSL uh, phone line adapters that I got from uh, when my former employer abandoned my office and I went and took everything that I could. They're just little micro filter DSL things. Plug one into your DSL, one to your phone jack. Somebody came in, bought two of them for a total of 12 bucks, free shipping. If I can find them. I still have 21 more of those things <laughs> to sell. And two. All right. probably chatting over the other thing that you are that you that's where you're chatting prove it too see there's Cameron blah 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 Cameron blah 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 <laughs> Small Murano cup. Nice. I love Murano. I haven't had Murano in the store for a really long time until just the yeah, last week, all those ashtrays. All right, sold a Hot Wheel. Uh, Batman, Batmobile from, I don't know. They, they did a whole bunch of these uh, Batman ones a couple years ago. So I have a bunch of Batmobiles 
I think that's the one from the first movie. I honestly, I don't know. Uh, it sold for $4.70. That came from Buys a Lot. Let's see if I can find it. 62 out of... doesn't look like the same color. This looks green. I'm going to go just double check, see if I have a black one. I got a feeling there might be a variant. Four out of five. Let me just go check real quick. I'll be right back. Nope, that's the one. Uh, I don't know. I think probably 70 is good. Yeah, sales have been good this week for me, too. I, I feel like eBay has sort of stopped trying to mess around with stuff for the moment. Or at least they stopped on Friday, noticeably. Like Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday was okay, even. Um... Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday last week were not great, but uh, already I'm well over where I was last Sunday. And I think I've still got even, are sales still coming in? No, I don't have a, I'm going to see if I can send out any offers. Now's the time to be sending them out. Not a lot of offer opportunities, which is, Interesting, but yeah. All right. All right. So this one we're definitely going to send that. A nice low price for that thing. It's been around forever. I like the teal. This one's good. We're going to just go. I've been listing ashtrays for a week and I still have more to go. It's been crazy. I think I've listed ashtrays every single day. Like not even, you know, one or two, like four or five every single day. And I still have more to go. Uh, sold this thing. 
locking plug. Uh, been in the store forever. No idea where it came from. Took an offer for nine bucks. You are going to go in there, you stupid locking plug. Kitty cat. The, uh, the feral kitties in the area, uh, I believe, had some kittens because I, when I woke up last night and I went to the door uh, or went to the bathroom, like I could see out the back door and Wendy was following me and she saw uh, a little kitty on the other side. Of Hi, cat. Hello. She charged the door. Did they fix that fairy issue? I don't know what the fairy issue was. Was there an issue? I haven't taken the fairy in a couple <laughs> in a month. Uh, let's see here. Fairy. There was a thing uh, like a week ago. Several problems likely to blame in Washington. Oh, there's a fairy grounding. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Walla Walla ran aground. What? Dude. Yeah, that was four days ago. <laughs> Uh, yeah, news to me. All right, this thing is not in the box. This is like one of those things I'll usually grab and just throw it in at a yard sale for throw it in the pile and they'll usually throw it in for free. Easy to lift. That isn't likely to come back. Might take a while to sell. Was there free shipping on that too? Oops. That's how long it's been here. Somehow that thing survived. So that's been here then. If there's free shipping on it, I changed off of free shipping almost two years ago. So, and somehow that one just never got changed and has been around at least two years. So I'll make a couple of bucks off it. No big deal. All right, down to 46. Sold a pattern. This came from the House of Horrors. It's a Vogue uh, from 1959. It is partially cut. Uh, 1750. And I have, I still have a shitload more of these to, to get listed. But doesn't smell like terrible mildew as anywhere near as much as it used to thanks to uh ozone and uh every other method i could
think of to get <laughs> smell out of paper. This stuff sat in baking soda, kitty litter, ozone. You're gonna get in there? Maybe not. We'll just put it in here. I'm not in a super huge hurry to list the rest of it because it's, I kind of, I'm looking at that step as sort of the uh, part of the savings, the listing savings account. Because th there's a lot of this era and a lot of Vogue in there, and Vogue patterns can go for pretty damn good money, especially vintage ones. Patterns really, like... Unless they're like 80s or before, uh, and really, unless they're they if they're not if they're they, the best ones will have to be uncut, like to get the most money pre 80s uncut, and the older you get, the better they are. If you can find uncut from like 40s, 30s, 20s, you can get into some crazy money. Um, certain designer patterns. I mean, I don't know, like, I, I don't know a ton, uh, you know, about sewing stuff, but I, I look at it like any other collectible, right? You know, I don't know a ton about tools, but I know they can be collectible. And, you know, the more I, I list, the more I look them up, the more I sell, the more experience I get, the better I'm able to buy, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right, next up. Sold this little holster. This came out of the, uh, the free estate sale, I'm pretty sure. This is for like inside, you put it in, so it's inside your pants. Uh, North American Arms Company, suede. Uh, I think this, no, where did this come from? I think I got this in that box of awesome stuff that has made me a lot of money that I got for free, maybe. I don't remember. 13 bucks though. I really like selling items like this that are just, you know, are, are going to sell. They're pretty good money. They're super easy to list, super easy to ship. Could be, I don't know. I would think that like, do you have Halloween in the title? Also, you've already put the work into them. Why, why take them down? They're, they're super long tail. Like I've got patterns that I listed still that were in the first, like the first few months of me opening the store. Like don't expect them to move quickly, but they, the, the I, they sell, but there's, uh, they, you know, you, they, can take a long time to sell. 
they're just good. I think good store building stuff because they're cheap. They're easy to list. They're easy to ship. They're pretty easy to comp because they have, there's pattern numbers. I mean, I would, I would say don't take them down. Just leave them up and like, let them be. Yeah, I, I'm, I mean, you guys kind of, I talk about it plenty of times. I'm of the opinion of once you have it listed, just let it be. Set it and forget it. All right, sold this thing. This thing just uh, was only up, I think, for two or three days. Uh, it's all wrapped up, so I'll put it on screen. This was in my death pile for no idea how long, for a very long time. I ran across it. I think it was in that green bin I was pulling stuff out of. Say a Kodak uh, Photography Darkroom Developing Beaker. Let's see, when did I list this? April 12th, so it's been up for 11 days. 12 bucks on that. Once again, easy peasy. But I mean, I, I also recognize that everybody's different. Like, I know Tommy, like if it sits more than two months, he just, he pulls it all down and takes it away. That seems like a good enough reason. Leave him up. Next up is this. This uh, literally sat about eight inches down there for the last couple of years. A uh, little magnifier aperture thing. Uh, it's cool. Not something I, I thought I would use, but then never used it. So, and I have magnifying glasses freaking all over the place. So, I thought this one might sell, and sure enough, I was right. Uh, sold for an amount I will tell you in just a moment. If I can find it. There it is. $22.45. And I say it's going first class, 15 ounces. Sweet. Easy.
Thanks, Davis. It's a name I don't, I don't... This is your first time here, or at least first time not lurking. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And, uh, you know, make sure you're subbed. I do this uh, pretty much every weekday. Uh-oh, we got a feed going on here. And uh, sometimes on weekends... When we have busy, busy weekend uh, sales days, which honestly, it hasn't been a lot of them in the last year. But again, I think uh, my pivot has had an effect on sales. It feels that way anyways. Just based on the stuff I'm shipping out and working with a little bit better sales velocity than I have been been able to source some good stuff lately. So there's a lot of things. So anyways, third. Oh, there you go. All right, what are we down to here? We're down to 42. Okay, next up. Dr. Zhivago on DVD, sealed. Uh, no idea where this one came from again. Uh, I don't think it's been up for very long. See here. March twenty twenty three. So it hasn't been up for very long. Uh, Four dollars and seventy cents. I did just redo my whole uh, DVD organization system, and my God, it makes life so much easier to have them all on all on one shelf or all on one bookshelf with uh, just titles out. I can quickly scan through. The way it, where it was was not working. I had outgrown my original system for them. It was quite a bit overdue for changing that up so not sure and then also sold another DVD uh, take the lead starring Antonio Banderas a movie I had never even heard of Not that I am up on the the Banderas filmography. I kind of uh, lost track somewhere around Desperado. I do love Desperado, though. Desperado is a great movie. He's also great in Four Rooms, which is another fantastic movie that is largely forgotten to the to most people. All right, where are we here? This is take the lead. There it is. That's sold for two ninety five. 
DVDs I I'm sort of loving lately because they I've been able to find them very cheap. They're really easy to list. Hardly ever needed to even take pictures. Especially sealed, you're very rarely going to have any returns. Uh, sold two uh, B games or two uh, Tony Hawk Ride and Tony Hawk's Downhill something for the Nintendo Wii, and they sold for $9.86. Those have also been around for a very long time. I think, right? Yes. At first. It is going in. It's already there. These are not exactly uh, desirable Wii games. of you still out there. Thanks for joining. All right, let's take a look here. Haven't had a sale in, oh, I shouldn't say that, in about an hour. It's been about every hour pretty steadily, I would say, that today, though. I'm 39. All right. Pretty good progress. Sold a hat. This is a Pennsylvania Cooperative Potato Growers. Got this for free, and it sold for seventeen ninety-five. It's got the uh, like forest camo. Pretty cool hat. It's auto collection. I don't know what that means, but uh, been up since February, so that would have been. Uh, that first round of uh, local marketplace free stuff I picked up. And that big bag of hats.
wonder, will this... That will fit in there. So we're going to ship that out in one of those boxes. Get some good old bubble wrap around it. Thanks, courtesy of UPS and their insistence on sending me stuff I don't need. in that box for quite a few minutes and turns out it was right in front of my face the whole time. Didn't need anything special that had it stuck. That camera sold for 40 bucks and I think I got it out of the antique store possibly. I may have gotten it out of the garage down the street. I honestly I don't remember. But it hasn't been listed very long. Well, thank you for coming in, Davis. Hopefully we see you in the morning. I'll be here at 8.30 PST. Or as my idiotic former co-worker used to say, I'll be here at 8.30 specific time. Which is a lie, because I usually start at closer to 8. So It is anything but specific time. Sometime between 8 and 8.30, sometimes even before, sometimes a little after. All right, we're down to 37. 37. Anyone know the reference? Uh, sold a, another hat, way down there, Knott's Berry Farm Teal, sold for, not a lot, $14.54, uh, that also I got for free back in October at the last yard sale day of the year. Same day I picked up a bunch of video game stuff and my Ninja Air Fryer. And what else did I get that day? I still have a bunch of the hats too. I, they're gonna lot them. Was gonna lot them. They're not the best ones. Those ones I might just end up doing. Hats are another one of those things. They're long. They can be long tail, but hey, it's great when they sell. Pretty good time here. Uh, uh, let's do this one. This is from the free estate sale I went to. 
Circus Circus, big ass ashtray. Uh, really cool. I think it's Blenko, but I'm not positive. It certainly looks like a Blenko design. They love their bubbly stuff over at the Blenko factory, but I couldn't confirm that. So uh, somebody came in and they were like, will you take $15 free shipping? And I'm like, no, I just listed this. It's going to sell. If it's still here in two, three months, come back. Feel free to ask, but I'm not not negotiating at this point. Come on. Uh-oh. USB not recognized. I'm pulling the right one out and reattaching it. My mouse just may have finally kicked the bucket. Going to Nevada, which means probably ship a priority about the same price. What did they pay for shipping? 1022. I think it's going to be three pounds, so I'm doing it. Some of these supply hut boxes I got using my uh, using the discount code Commonwealth S and M Dungeon. You guys ever need supply hut stuff? Make sure you use use the code Commonwealth S and M Dungeon at checkout, so you can help fund the. Uh, the next Commonwealth 
uh, dipper, picker, shed. That's not going to work. Let's go. Let's see, where am I? For nine bucks. Just going to go in a regular old mailing box. Still got 11 hangers on. I know it's late. Thanks for hanging in there. Let's see what we got left. We are down to 35. And let's see how many of those are postcards. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So that leaves about twenty non postcards to ship. Everything's pulled already. So I'm just going to do a couple more, and then we're going to call it a night. We got a good, good chunk of shipping done for tomorrow. Uh, sold obsession. And it sold for 25 bucks. This came out of that uh, yard sale a couple of weeks ago. I think this is the second or third perfume that I sold out of that. Pretty good buy. I'm happy with it. box of void fill tomorrow.
what is that over a pound? Unacceptable. That's way too heavy for this. It's supposed to be easy, stupid perfume. That's why. User error. Right job, wrong box. That's what she said. Yeah, no problem. I don't know. It's weird how stuff like that goes in my brain, and uh, I just... It just sticks there. The stuff I try to remember, in my brain is a sieve, but if it's something I, like, just goes in and it's like a freaking vault. Yes, Buster. You want to say hi to the peeps? Hi. Oh, dude. What's up? Say hi to the peeps. I want to show some beans? Show me the beans. Show me the beans. I know that's what they're here for. They just want to see the beans. Oh, there we go. There. Look at them beans. Look at that. He knows what's up. Get straight at the camera. Good job. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, yeah, at least I think in a pretty good place for tonight. I'm going to go, uh, I might try to do some drafting. I may not. I had a decent day in listening today. Uh, show is already scheduled for tomorrow. So hopefully you all can join bright and early tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. specific time. Uh, until then, uh, both Buster and I... Oh, oh, is there a kitty out there? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Tail's a weapon. What do we see? Oh, yeah, I see a couple of little eyes. <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a great evening. See you tomorrow. Catch you on the flip-flop. Peace out. Bye-bye. Say bye, Buster. <laughs>